very, very warm welcome on behalf of ICOMOS Netherlands. My name is uh, Diederik Six, president of ICOMOS Netherlands. And together with Erik Luijendijk, we did make this initiative to bring two fields together. We are thrilled to have you all here, 22 nations gathered here from all over the world. We strongly believe that bringing the two water and heritage professionals together, we will find solutions. We ask you for an open mind and listening fully to each other with respect and cross your borders, reaching out to the other fields and be inspired why we are here, because we care. ECOMOS International celebrates uh, the outstanding leadership of our Dutch National Committee in making this conference come together. By bringing together disciplines that do not usually talk to each other, ECOMOS Netherlands is rather setting up an important example for building the new bridges that are needed to protect heritage in the 21st century. Climate change is one of the big factors that is going to actually change the way we look at things and set priorities in, in a slightly different order. We have these frightening forecasts of future climate change and we know that adapting to climate change is going to become more and more important as we move forward. Indeed, uh, the water crisis is looming. I'm, I'm not so sure whether we have an international vision. This is the problem uh, which I think we have to uh, to work on here and there, bits and pieces, but there is no overall framework like we have, for instance, for uh, underground uh, heritage. Over the past 7,000 years, it was basically water that has shaped the human civilization. And now we are at a turning point, just the opposite is happening. It is the humans who are shaping the water cycle. I'm going to, to present to you water and, uh, and heritage all, all over the planet, if I may say so. So we'll make a big trip. Uh all together around the world. And I would like, in fact, to recall that heritage was not meant to be heritage. Heritage was the answer to sustainability. I mean, this is the most adapted and sustainable answer to daily life of, of populations. So um, it's deeply rooted in the cultural values of civilizations. I think that a lot can be learned from the Dutch approach to working together uh, on prevention rather than everybody fighting his own battle and um, repairing everything after the fact. That costs billions, which we no longer have. Maybe our heritage is, is on an island like this farm if we don't work together to find collective answers to these new problems. I'll start with a little movie. It rains harder and more frequently. Rivers must discharge ever-increasing amounts of water, but rivers confined between higher and higher dikes are getting less and less room, while the land behind the dikes gradually subsides. To protect areas against flooding, the rivers will be given more room. In doing so, we ensure the safety of approximately four million people. Cultural heritage as a source of inspiration. We need, really need to build bridges between various kinds of institutions. It cannot be done only by heritage institutions or by water or infrastructure institutions. So how can different institutions work together in order to build a capacity? I would now uh, ask uh, Henk van Schaik and Ellen Pfeiffer to come up and uh, present the, um, the statement of Amsterdam. Saving the urbanizing deltas of the world will be one of the most important critical challenges for the sustainable future of humankind. And finally, explore options to charge a team of experts under the joint supervision of UN Water, ECOMOS and EUCN to elaborate the relations and mutual benefits of Water for Heritage and Heritage for Water as a decisive action towards universal recognition of Heritage for Water and vice versa. What? Does this statement mean for you? It's indeed uh, this kind of intersectoral approach which I think is needed. 
and I look very much forward to further intensifying the relations with ICOMOS Netherlands and all partners involved in this conference and the Am Amsterdam Statement. Organizations like ICOMOS will play a very important role in the near future. Uh, first of all, I would say that uh, I must congratulate the organizers because we have really gone quite far in these two, three days that we have been discussing and the result is right in front of us in, in, as, as, uh, in the form of this statement. I feel that this is a big step forward and, uh, and this is just a starting and I think the real work begins from here.